All right, we're back with creating an ears, uh, the fix for the ears. I'm just going to show them off, basically, and then we did some changes. Uh, I didn't want this video to be too long. Um, so the ears happened in here where I, I accidentally closed off the bracket just like right here, or is right in here. And we just had to remove that, basically. And then that fixed all our color issues. Um, other than that, uh, we changed some CSS styling. So we're adding a rounder border here. Um, I don't really care for this blue, however. Uh, we're going to probably want to switch some of these colors to be a little lighter. Um, but we have it set to, I think, believe, red right now. And it's going to show up right by the map. So like right here, it should show up. And yeah, it does. Uh, that red actually isn't too bad. So it's a little rounded. Um, we might change some more stuff to it, but I think we're gonna get to that a little later. I also don't think our cache is still working. Maybe it is working, it's just we don't see it. But uh, that was mainly for the errors. A couple other things we can do here. Um, let me go into the CSS. You go to make the text a little bit bigger here. Uh, 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 this is where we changed it. Uh, so we have our top margin is actually this now. And this sort of lines it up uh, perfectly with our the map, basically. The HUD, I have an idea for the HUD. The HUD is most likely going to be on this right side instead of the left. And we're going to just keep the map over here. Or we could even move the map somewhere else and then put our notification somewhere. Uh, it just depends where we want to go. Uh, one other thing I wanted to test, though, was... This. So... I wanted to make sure... Let me open up this and move this real quick. I just have this up just to make sure our resmon's doing good. So yeah, uh, that's what it would look like on default resolutions, uh, which is actually perfectly fine. Uh, 1440, it will perfectly line up with here, but that's just because you have a lot more pixels. Uh, and this one is gonna be uh, bottom of your screen, basically. And there's no, so once you get a notification, it clears. We might add a buffer to this. So uh, basically your notifications will be, I guess I could show it. I'm going to show it in like code. Um, so in here, we'll do it. So we could have it something like this. So we have this uh, like queue system. So you have one. Uh, and then once that notification is done, it would go to two and then go to three and then go to four, uh, depending what you have set. Um, and we could probably eliminate it. So we could do like an if statement. So we could do if, uh, nodey one, for example, uh, equals the same as nodey two, it would just delete nodey two basically. Uh, so nodey two, uh, then delete nodey two and something like this, because then this would get moved up. So three would then move to one. And if three was the same as four, uh, then four would get automatically removed and stuff like that. So it would uh, basically stop people from spamming stuff and getting just breaking their game basically by spamming notifications. Uh, but the whole thing is it works, uh, which is great. A couple of some things that didn't work was the cache though. So I'm going to have to come back for the cache eventually, uh, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, so this is how we're going to be. <laughs> this is how you sort of call it. Uh, you could do a message in here. So you could put a message, uh, whichever one you want. Obviously these are colors. Uh, it didn't seem like time uh, worked. So we're, I just defaulted to 6,000. But uh, we'll try and test that a little bit later. 
but this was the airs video very short uh probably gonna come out wednesday and then we'll have another video on uh friday